Hey there, tech enthusiasts and future digital overlords. It's me, that other Dave, not to be confused with the Dave of computer science revision fame. But hey, if he's the CPU, consider me the GPU. I make things look good, but I ain't steering the ship. And today, we're about to get vocal about AI voice cloning. You know, the tech that could be narrating this video. Steve, it definitely is narrating this video. And you wouldn't know it was me. Or not me. Confusing, right? Let's dive in. So what is AI voice cloning? Imagine a world where anyone could speak with your voice, say anything, and it sounds exactly like you. No, it's not your sibling mimicking you to annoy you. It's way more high tech. AI voice cloning is the process of creating a digital replica of a person's voice using artificial intelligence. And if you think I sound a bit different today, who knows? I might just be an AI clone of Dave. In fact, this is an AI clone of my voice. All it took was me recording my voice for two entire minutes and about 10 seconds of processing, and we have this. Now, personally, I can hear that this doesn't really totally sound like me in the nuance of my speech. But can you tell? If someone doesn't know me as well, then could this be entirely convincing? Can I feed this a copy of Lord of the Rings and listen to my own narrated audiobooks? Heck, this thing could come in handy for your next parents' evening. Hey, mum, look at this recording my teacher made instead of doing parents' evening. Yes, I'm doing extremely well. The technology behind this vocal ventriloquism involves some serious computing power and a branch of AI called machine learning. Here's the 4-1 lung. To clone a voice, we feed an algorithm lots and lots of audio samples. This AI then analyzes the pitch, tone, and nuances of the voice and learns to generate new speech that sounds eerily similar. Think of it as teaching a parrot to talk. Only this parrot can eventually make presidential speeches. For example, SecureWorks showed off their chops in AI mimicry with a phone call that fooled even the tech savvy. They cloned a colleague's voice, made a call, and managed a chit-chat that was almost flawless. Except for some robotic pauses, it was like speaking to the man himself. We could even just feed it other people's voices. Does this voice sound familiar? Or this one. I've just completely stolen Craig and Dave's voices here, and they're going to give me a shout out. Hey, this is Craig from Craig and Dave, and I wanted to give a shout out to my favorite Dave, Dave Morgan, as he has the most magnificent hair of any person I've ever met. That's right, Craig. Even as a fellow Dave, I agree. Dave Morgan definitely has the best hair of anyone else on this channel. But hold the panic button. It's not all doom and gloom. AI voice cloning can be magic for certain industries. In entertainment, actors could voice characters without ever stepping into a studio. We could bring deceased actors back to life to continue their famous roles. Heck, Disney have already done this with Carrie Fisher. And future appearances of Darth Vader will entirely be AI-generated voiceover. For customer service, imagine never having to deal with the please hold music again, because an AI can chat with you instead. And it's not just about convenience. It's a voice for the voiceless, too. The legendary TV critic Roger Ibert, who lost his ability to speak, was given a new voice through this very technology. A voice that sounded just like him. Avoiding the dehumanizing aspect that using text-to-speech usually has. Now, let's switch to the dark side of AI voice cloning. The tech is potent, and with great power comes great responsibility, something not everyone takes seriously. Scammers could use AI to impersonate your grandma, or worse, a public figure. Like that fake message during the US New Hampshire primary, which sounded a whole lot like President Biden. Not cool, AI not cool. Real talk, security is a big issue. Voice cloning could revolutionize phone scams, making them more efficient and harder to detect. Imagine your nan getting a panicked call from an AI, you that encourages them to transfer thousands of pounds to get you out of a pickle. It's okay, nan, stop buying those Amazon gift cards for the scammer, I'm fine. Nan, nan, stop it, oh crikey. Cybersecurity experts are raising red flags left and right, and with major elections on the horizon, the stakes are high. Deepfake voices could spread misinformation like wildfire. So should we be biting our nails down to the quick over AI voice cloning? It's a mixtape of yes, no, and maybe. Industry pros are urging caution, advocating for a balance between embracing AI's benefits and guarding against its misuse. The Electoral Commission is keeping a watchful eye on how AI might play out in elections, urging us to be both skeptical and open-minded. All things considered, AI voice cloning is a double-edged sword. It's up to us to stay informed and make sure the tech is used for the greater good not the latest scam. So keep those ears perked up and think critically about the voices you hear, AI generated or not. And remember, just because you hear it doesn't mean it's the truth. Unless it's coming from me, of course. Wink, wink. I don't think I'm supposed to say the wink, wink part. To summarize, AI voice cloning is a technology that uses machine learning to create a digital replica of a person's voice with potential applications in various industries, but also raising security and authenticity concerns. The technology operates by analyzing numerous voice samples to learn and replicate speech characteristics, demonstrated effectively by cybersecurity company SecureWorks, which cloned a colleague's voice for a convincing phone call. 
While AI voice cloning offers benefits like giving a voice to those who've lost theirs and enhancing customer service experiences, it also poses risks of misuse in scams and misinformation particularly highlighted by the incident of a fake message during the New Hampshire primary. The debate around AI voice cloning is complex, with experts advocating for cautious optimism and the need for critical thinking to balance the potential for innovation against the risks of abuse, especially in politically sensitive contexts like elections. Until next time, stay savvy, stay skeptical, and keep embracing the wonders and worries of our tech-filled world. Signing off, it's not that other Dave, reminding you to always question who's on the other end of the line.